you see where it's gonna go on like in between here. And so it's gonna be pretty seamless. You won't be able to, to tell that I've done that. You just need to work slowly and line it up. And I'm sorry, I have to lay it down upside down so that I don't make a mistake. <laughs> And so I'm, I'm lining up the flower on my right. And even if it's off a little bit, I don't think it's going to be really visible. We're gonna rub that right down. There's that. I don't think it needs anything else on the sides. Let's actually look at it with the mat over it right now and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I love it more than I thought I was going to. So here it is with the mat. We need to finish this. And then since I'm making it up as I go along, there may be colors here or here, or this might just be the whole artwork piece. The piece that I used here is just one piece in Classic Elements, and I think I'm going to keep it simple and just do the corners because I don't want, I, I, I don't want your, I want it all to be complimentary and not have, have your eye kind of wander and wonder what to look at. So I use just this piece. down and just put the glue there we go you know I figured I always get glue all over myself anyway so I may as well just start like this you know instead of holding it and using a stick I still get myself so this is just as easy it's just kind of giving in to the process I guess I guess gently and kind of in so that I don't get a lot of cracking. I, I can hear bubbles just to make sure it's all the way down. Do the same to this one. Luckily it's art, it doesn't need to be perfect. So some glue is going to push out. All right, so what I usually do when the glue is pushing out is I get a stiff bristle brush. And I usually, I just go around and you see this, see the glue that I'm picking up? Um, because it would be sticking out of the edges. Um, and I only am doing it because it's going to take away the details. Like I don't, I want to fill that, but I don't want to fill those areas with glue. I want to fill them with, you know, when I get ready, I want to fill those up with my wax or my wash or whatever it is that I am going to use to make all of the, this goodness stand out. So all of this I'm picking up from the edge. Let's look at what this whole thing looks like with the Midnight Garden in it. Frame, the ugly frame that's with it is here. Um, this is going to be painted.
right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're looking for any of these products, this is Midnight Garden. Uh, the mold I used was Classic Elements, the IOD Air Dry Clay. You can use any kind of paint or sealer that you want. Uh, I'm Michelle from Serendipity House.